Welcome to Trains 2019 in this little uh, quick quick start video, I guess you could call it a Trains Tools video. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about Car Tagger, how to set it up, or Car Tagger, what it is, how to set it up, and how to use it. So what is Car Tagger? Well, uh, if you've seen my CMTMS video series where I explained how to set up CMTM and had the whole switch list and everything, Car Tagger is a much, much, much more simple version of that, but still incredibly powerful and good if you want to do complicated switching and sorting cars and everything. Uh, it, it gives you a switch list based on your industry needs and your car types. So let's get right into how you need what, what is needed to set it up. Since going over what it is is pretty easy. Uh, so all you need is you need a route, obviously. The route needs to have interactive industries. It doesn't need to. It can have... Well, I'm not going to get into those details, but you, you need, do need to have interactive industries. Or at least you should have interactive industries. You need cars and a locomotive. You need rolling stock and a locomotive. Um, in this little demo setup, I'm using a, a round off the DLS, Crawford Northeast. We have an industry right here that loads soybeans, and we have a car here that will be loaded with soybeans, and we've got a locomotive to, to spot it there. That's all you need to set up. Uh, you just need to make sure your industries are configured to load products in your car, load or unload products, and you make sure your cars are configured to haul the products that the industries consume or produce. That's all the setup you need for your route. Uh, there's no need for destination database, no little buildings, none of that. What we will then do is we'll click on our edit menu, we'll click edit session, which brings up this edit session box here, center screen. We click add rule and we type in car tagger and we just got it right there. We'll click it and click OK. And now it is installed. Uh, we'll just go over some of the configurations real quick and I'll show off what these do in game. Uh, so if you click on, well, let's go back. If you click on, if you make sure it's highlighted, you click edit. Allow free destination settings on locomotives, cars, and only match current industry needs. So let's go over this part right here where it says allow free destination settings. This basically, if this is turned on, it will give you a little text box and you can type in whatever you want in that text box. To, so if we type in locomotives and you wanted to make this locomotive, you know, yard switcher 27, you could. Uh, only match current industry needs. I like to turn this on. And uh, you don't have to turn these on. I'm going to turn all of them on so we can see. Basically, turning it on, will, turning it on, turning allow free destination setting for um, for locomotives and cars. Uh, if it's turned on only for locomotives, you won't be able to type in your own custom destination for cars. If you turn it on for cars, then you can type in your own. I'm going to leave it off for cars and on for locomotives. Only match current industry needs. If we turn this on, what this means is if you have a train car loaded with say, general auto parts and all of your auto factories are at 100% capacity, it will not give you the option to tag the car to go to that destination. So you can leave this. I, I like to turn it on, but I recommend leaving it off. Um, I only turn it on because I know my industry needs and I try to match them when I bring content in. But that's, that's it's a personal preference. These are all optional. You don't need to turn these on or off. We'll click OK. And we'll click OK. We now have destination database configured. So let's actually go into Quick Drive. And hopefully my audio works. It might sound like I'm underwater. If it does, I apologize. I've been having issues the past week with Streamlabs just doing its own thing with my game audio and I have not been able to find a solution for it. Like even the Streamlabs people are like, we don't know. So now when we get into section, we have our locomotive and we have a car. If we, we also have this window that pops up. Now if we accidentally close out this window, if you change your view to a different car, it'll bring that window back up. This window is going to be in order we have a locomotive and we have a car, locomotive will always be at the front, and every car from the front of the train back will be here. If we were to turn this locomotive around, so it was now going the other direction, it would actually show all of our cars in front. So locomotive in front of cars in front of the train, locomotive cars behind the train. So with our locomotive, we can click this little button that says tag at current vehicle. 
that's going to bring up this menu right here. And this is all the industries that this locomotive could go to. If we scroll down, we have this blank box. This was the free tagging. We can type whatever we want in here. So trains, F-O-R-U-M. So we'll click OK. And now we can see we have our destination right here. If we click on the car, we click tag current vehicle. It brings us this menu here, and it's going to show us all the industries. These are all the industries that this car could go to and get loaded. And we know that this is new. I know that this is new Alliance Speed Elevator, so I'm going to click here, and that car is now tagged for that destination. And as you can see, when I switch car to locomotive or if I had multiple cars, it highlights the current one I'm on. And if there were multiple, you'd have a little scroll wheel. So that's actually. There we go. I'm a cab mode person. I'm pretty sure my audio, is, my game audio sounds weird. It sounds fine to me. If it sounds weird to you watching this, I've been just, like I said, I've been having issues with Streamlabs doing its recording and not being able to get my audio to work properly. And no one seems to be able to help. So if we get this car, I'm going to put, I like to put the switch list right here, just because it's out of my way of my HUD right here. And you can resize it a little bit if it's too big for you. I mean, see the car's going to, since it's a jointed rail car and it's a jointed rail industry, it's going to go through its loading process. The car's now fully loaded. I love that. I love that with those little jointed rail cars and they work that way. So now, if we click on the car, we click tag, now we can see that its destinations have changed to only off-route destinations. So we'll just give it a new off-route destination. And go ahead and be on our way. Hopefully this video helps. If not, go ahead and ask questions. Um, and we can, we can see what we can do. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.